Well, it's another day out in the shop doing some experimenting with multi ingot molds. I've got one silver melted about 10 minutes ago. I'm just letting her go because the temperature on the thermocouple is just hitting 1650 degrees and I've got sterling in there but I saw a video on the tube about uh, pouring with ceramic molds. Well, I have some ceramic molds here that a gentleman on eBay, uh, his user ID is Custom Graphite Molds. He made these uh, ceramic molds for me. And what you have to do is you have to look at them just like investment casting with a centrifugal. It's a one-timer. It's going to break because of the rapid cool-down of the furnace. Now, maybe if you were doing it in a kiln, but I haven't really had any trouble getting the mold, uh, the silver out of the mold because for one it's going to crack into at least one piece. I don't think I can... You're not going to be able to see it, but there is the image of a skull and crossbones down in the bottom and there's my little pile of silver. i go on standby while I charge this up and get the other one out of the furnace and, and uh, I'll get this one ready to go. As you can see, I just took that out, and it is plenty, plenty warm. Now, I'm going to get ready here. I've got... I'm going to get that on the aluminum where you can see it. It's a pedestal I use in there, and what it is is it's grooved block of graphite. And then I'm going to set another little block of graphite on there to give me elevation and then I'm going to take well there you can almost see the skull and crossbones in the bottom I'm going to take this ceramic mold and I'll set it there trying not to touch that other mold that's sitting there boy it is hotter than the blazes now I'm just going to load this up with some scrap pieces I hope this is enough because it's going to the mold is going to break, but what I'm going to try this time is just turning the torch down and letting the silver set before I... Okay, I'm going to get this charged into the furnace. It's going to be a don't burn yourself show. mysteries that just baffles me. The bottom two chambers poured themselves perfectly. This is a gravity mold. And the top two chambers, looking at the sprue stem, didn't even try to fill the cavities and they're, they're all equally vented. I'll never understand molten metal. It does not do what you think it's going to do. That's what makes this so fun. You can see the porcelain's cooling way faster than the graphite blocks. We're just going to leave it in there so it won't crack any worse. But I don't see any silver leaking out, so it might have poured it okay. Well, just like any investment casting, you can see what I have left there. It broke into three pieces. I just... I tapped it on the plate to get the ingot out because I wanted it hot when I threw it in the pickle pot. But anyway, that's pretty much what I got on all of them. They're a one-time deal, but they do make uh, nice ingots. I'll get the silver out of the pickle. 
Well, there's the little ingot. You can just barely see the skull and crossbones. What you can see is the crack. So I think what I'll do is I'll go in and uh, put it on a buffer real quick and see if that improves it any. Here's the little ingot. Get that rotated right. Little skull and crossbones on there. Needed more silver. Probably should have had about twice the volume of silver in there, but anyway, that's what you get when you pour open molds in a furnace using a ceramic uh, mold. They are a one-timer. You can't cool a furnace down slow enough. Now, probably in a pottery kiln you could, because these were fired at uh, 1900 degrees, so anyway, I use them once and you see the result. That's enough for now. Bye.